Yo, what's up, everybody? Good to see you, and welcome back to the Potato Boat YouTube channel. Sons of the Forest is on the horizon, finally. We've waited forever, and finally here in less than a month, we are about a month, we should be seeing the game finally release after all of these years and after hearing about it forever ago. So I was sitting here thinking today, obviously here on the channel, we love the forest. We've made a ton of guides and content about the forest. So obviously Sons of the Forest is a huge target uh, that we really have been looking forward to getting our hands on. So today I kind of wanted to make my own little personal wish list known. So I'm going to be discussing the 10 things that I hope to see or not see in Sons of the Forest. Now, before we get started today, please make sure if you are so inclined to go down below and hit that subscribe button. It means the world to us. Leave a thumbs up video if you agree with my list or just if you want to be kind, thumbs up video, just a thumbs up click and a comment down below letting us know uh, how you feel and what you hope to see and if you agree with our list and all that. And also supposed to tell you as a YouTuber to ring that bell. So go ring that bell too. So without further ado, let's talk about Sons of the Forest. Now I would be remiss if I didn't start with this point. We have seen a ton of ads slash gameplay trailers and stuff for this game, some screenshots and my number one hope, even though I it's, it's probably the least important thing when it comes to playing games, my number one hope is that we get at least the half of the graphical fidelity that we've seen on all the ads for this game if you've watched any of them if you haven't seen them go look them up and then come right back here they the game looks gorgeous and there's some very awesome effects and lighting effects and character models and gun interactions it actually looks like a gorgeous game but if we've you know if any of you have you know if you've played the forest you know it's not like the pinnacle of of graphical technology okay it doesn't push any boundaries and there does seem to be some legitimately like good graphics in the sons of the forest trailers and like one thing that comes to mind is that like shiny makeshift tent that's like the foil warming wrap thing blowing in the wind looks super good the water looks super like so much of it looks super good but once the sons of the forest was not optimized very well and so to go from that to the trailers that we're seeing for sons of the force i hope we get at least at least half of that graphical fidelity and that we really feel like we've graduated from a game that came out what feels like almost 10 years ago to a game now that this is the continuation this is the next evolution i hope that the game looks at least just a little bit as pretty as it does in the trailers Number two, I really hope that they keep the non-linear gameplay style as a core piece of the game. And in the forest, you know, you actually never actually have to touch the story. You can go do whatever you want and go wherever you want and collect items and do build bases and do all this stuff. Or you could chase down the story or do little bits at a time and go progress. And you, you had complete control over that decision and i really hope that in sons of the forest they didn't take that away because i feel like that's what made most of the first game feel so good to play there was no pressure like okay where was i in the story where how do i continue it was just get on have a good time oh yeah i kind of want to progress oh i want to get closer to the end i want to go get this item and there's story stuff to do nearby i think was excellent so i'm really hoping that in the set in the sequel here we see the exact game format like they had before now, as much as I loved most of the first game, my third hope on this list is that we have an increased amount of like craftable and findable weapons and gear more than we had in the first one. In the first one, there was a ton, right? You could craft a decent amount of weapons. There was a ton of stuff to find. I hope that all is just exponentially more. Um, from what I've seen, you know, we're coming into this island with a military presence or looking for military presence. So I imagine there should be more military gear available more guns assault rifles shotguns which i don't want the game to become too easy or anything like that but i do want to see that kind of become a little bit a little bit more available even with crafting we came here prepared i do believe we still crash i actually forget the exact synopsis right now but i do believe we still crash but even then we were coming geared we were coming here for this reason in the first game we were just a dad and a son on a plane and it went down and yeah he was a survival expert and we figured it out right i'm hoping in this one because there was at least planning around this trip that we have a lot more craftable things a lot more craftable weapons some armor i, I really hope they expanded the menu on these items now, my fourth hope for the game is a little bit goofy, but in our first game, we had stealth armor that kind of worked sometimes and not on others, and it had to do with sneaking. I hope it's more offensive this time. I hope that in this game, we have more stealth 
and like stealth assassination mechanics. I know that, that it's not really a stealth game and like, you know, I don't want it to be like Assassin's Creed or whatever, but I think if you can find a, you know, a, a mutant or a cannibal and it is unawares of you coming in, especially if you take the time to build a stealth armor, if they have it in this one, that they give you some kind of those cool animations or instant takedowns. I think that would be pretty cool. It, it will make you feel you can kind of evolve into the predator in this situation instead of the prey and kind of on the back foot. It is a survival game, so they do want you to feel stressed, but I hope we get that kind of progression that lets us to take those kind of tools like stealth that didn't mean a lot in the first game and we get to see them in the sequel. Now, number five, the fifth thing that I hope for this game is that they give us better aiming tools. And I understand they kind of want you to feel like lost and alone and afraid and just getting by and stuff. Dear Lord, like the biggest gripe, one of the biggest gripes I have about the original Forest game is the fact that the aiming is like the worst thing ever. Like figuring out where the bow, the gun, the spear, where you're aiming is super duper hard and just takes a ton of hours of like, okay, it's like lined up like this. You just kind of start to see some of the arc in your head, but there's a lot of wasted ammo and a lot of dangerous opportunities before then. And that may have been by design, but if not, can we have a reticle or or something? Just something. I'm, I'm already a bad shot in every game that I play. Can I please have tools to aim better? I know it's a minor thing. It's nothing that makes up major things from the game, but that's a big one for me. I, I, I really would like to aim better. My number six thing is I would love to see more natural predators in the environment if we get that chance. I don't know if they were intimating that the cannibals weren't completely cannibalistic and so they were eating all the other animals or what. I would love to see things like mountain lions and bears and whatever, whatever environment we're in, I would love to see more natural predators that kind of live within the environment. It's not just an open Canadian wilderness with just a bunch of people who like to eat other people or each other and some mutants. I would love to see some more natural threats as well. Uh, I think bears would be absolutely horrifying. I think bears could be your like, your absolute like top pinnacle natural predator. So I would be, I'm really hoping to see more, more wildlife in general, but not just hunted wildlife. There were crocodiles in the first one, but I would love to see more hefty natural threats to make the world feel more grounded in reality while we go on our cannibalistic eldritch adventure. Number seven on my wish list here is I really hope that we do, like I said earlier, get to use more military gear and guns and all this kind of stuff, but I hope it's not completely busted. I hope they don't, you know, go like, oh yeah, obviously an AR is gonna function better than like, you know, a flintlock pistol that was buried in the ground and you assembled by yourself. But I hope it's not like completely busted and like game breaking. Obviously I have suggested things that I want that are very high quality of life things, but, I hope that they don't make it to where you can super duper like take over the game and there's nothing left to fear. I hope they keep that balance of, okay, we've given you better tools. We've given you better gear. We've given you better survival instincts and stuff. So we're going to make sure the game scales to the same level. I hope that they, they do give us better stuff, but they give us harder stuff to deal with. And number eight on my list is, dude, I hope they give us some more of the juicy, vague lore of how we got here. In the first game, there's 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 some directly told things like about the experiments and how, you know, the machines are what's making stuff, all that kind of stuff. But there's, you know, there's a lot of the eldritch stuff that's not explained, like how stuff got there and all that kind of stuff. I hope we get to dig further into that story and see a lot more of this old god eldritch, what, what is going on mystery. I hope we get a little bit more of a real reveal here. I don't know if they plan on making a third one. Obviously, it depends on the success of this one and all that. But if not, I hope they give us a great picture. I would even say, I hope for more of like an eldritch element to this game. I think that would be absolutely fantastic after expecting cannibals and mutants all of a sudden, you know, Cthulhu's brother, not really, but you know what I mean? Like it gives us insight into how that's working. I would love more, more just to dig into. Number nine on my wish list is I hope that they keep the non weight based inventory system. I know that a ton of survival games are basically dependent on how difficult they can be and how heavy they can be and how hard they can be. I'm hoping that we can continue to have a non weight based system and that it's count based. I love that. That is one of my key all time favorite features of the forest is that like, you know, you don't have like, oh, I picked up one grape too many and now I weigh the I weigh as much as Mount Rushmore without legs. It doesn't give me the feeling of a fun game. 
I don't not playing it for straight reality and then you know wanting my immersion I just want a good game and I think that made the first forest incredible so I'm hoping for more of the non weight based system please say that you kept it in the game at night please I need it and finally on my wish list I hope that they make status effects mean mean more I hope that they are actually more impactful and I hope they add some more you know like you could walk into a fire in the first game and like in two seconds you'd be fine there's no burnt status there's nothing like that or you know cold and rainy uh, or when you were freezing didn't like really kill you or whatever just kind of drained your stamina you could counteract that with benches and be fine I, I hope that they have some more status effects especially in the category of like sanity i hope i would love to see more i know there is some impact of the sanity stuff but i would love to see some more influence with fear or terror or or um or sanity or even fitness and strength i want those to matter a little bit more you can make your character you know be beef up a little bit like level up as you go become like again become the predator of the situation i think would be absolutely fantastic i think that would add a whole nother level of mechanics to the game and that is my personal top 10 wish list for the game that i hope that we get to see in sons of the force what do you think do you agree do you have something else that you would like to have do you ha disagree in any way let me know down in the comments below it'd mean the world to me also if you enjoy the video make sure you leave a thumbs up that means the world to youtube and we appreciate it and if you enjoy our videos and would like more forest and sons of the forest and spooky game and guide content stuff like that make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell but that was it for us today i hope you have a wonderful day no matter what you're doing and we will see you in the next video